Digital Multimedia Broadcasting DMB is a digital radio transmission technology developed in South Korea as part of the national IT project for sending multimedia such as TV, radio and data casting to mobile devices such as mobile phones, laptops and GPS navigation systems. This technology, sometimes known as mobile TV, should not be confused with digital audio broadcasting which was developed as a research project for the European Union. DMB was developed in South Korea as the next generation digital technology to replace FM radio, but the technological foundations were laid by Prof. Dr. Gert Siegel and Dr. Hamd Amor at Robert Bosch GmbH in Germany. The world's first official mobile TV service started in South Korea in May 2005, although trials were available much earlier. It can operate via satellite SDMB or terrestrial TDMB transmission. DMB has also some similarities with the main competing mobile TV standard, DVB-H. SDMB TDMB TDMB is made for terrestrial transmissions on band 3 VHF and L UHF frequencies. DMB is unavailable in the United States because those frequencies are allocated for television broadcasting VHF channels 7 to 13 and military applications. USA is adopting ATSCM/H for free broadcasts to mobiles and Qualcomm's proprietary MediaFlow system was used there. In Japan, 1 seg is the standard using ISDB. TDMB uses MPEG-4 Part 10 H.264 for the video and MPEG-4 Part 3 BSAC or HE AAC V2 for the audio. The audio and video is encapsulated in an MPEG transport stream MPEG -TS. The stream is forward error corrected by Reed Solomon encoding and the parody word is 16 bytes long. There is convolutional interleaving made on this stream, then the stream is broadcast in data stream mode on DAB. In order to diminish the channel effects such as fading and shadowing, the DMB modem uses OFDM DQPSK modulation. A single chip TDMB receiver is also provided by an MPEG transport stream demultiplexer. DMB has several applicable devices such as mobile phone, portable TV, PDA and telematics devices for automobiles. TDMB is an ETSI standard TS-102427 and TS-102428. As of December 14, 2007, ITU formally approved TDMB as the global standard, along with three other standards, like DVB-H, OneSeg, and MediaFlow. Smart DMB Smart DMB started in January 2013 in South Korea. Smart DMB has a VOD service and quality has been improved from 240p to 480p. Smart DMB will be built in many Korean smartphones starting with the Galaxy Gron in January 2013. HD DMB HDDMB started in August 2016 in South Korea. HDDMB has been improved from 240p to 720p. It uses HEVC.5 codec. There are currently six HDDMB stations in Seoul. Smartphones integrated Qualcomm Snapdragon 801 or higher received firmware upgrade to support HDDMB. Countries using DMB Currently, DMB is being put into use in a number of countries, although mainly used in South Korea. Also see list of countries using DAB, DMB. South Korea In 2005, South Korea became the world's first country to start SDMB and TDMB service on May 1 and December 1, respectively. 
In December 2006, TDMB service in South Korea consists of, 7 TV channels, 12 radio channels, and 8 data channels. These are broadcast on 6 multiplexes in the VHF band on TV channels 8 and 12 6 MHz raster. In October 2007, South Korea added broadcasting channel MBC and ET to the DMB channel. But in 2010, this channel changed TNN GO. In 2009 there were 8 DMB video channels in Seoul, and 6 in other metropolitan cities. As of April 2013, SDMB service in South Korea consists of 15 TV channels, 2 radio channels, and 6 data channels. South Korea has had full TDMB services including JSS, JPEG Slide Show, DLS, Dynamic Label Segment, BWS, and TPEG since 2006. SDMB service in South Korea is provided on a subscription basis through 2 media and is accessible throughout the country. TDMB service is provided free of charge, but access is limited to selected regions. Around 1 million receivers have been sold as of June 2006. 14 million DMB receivers were sold including TDMB and SDMB in South Korea, and 40% of the new cell phones have the capability to see DMB. Receivers are integrated in car navigation systems, mobile phones, portable media players, laptop computers and digital cameras. In mid-August 2007, iRiver, a multimedia and micro-technology company released their NV, which utilizes South Korea's DMB service. Since the advent of smartphones DMBs have been made available on phones with receivers through smartphone applications, most of which come pre-installed in phones made and sold in Korea. Other countries. Some TDMB trials are currently available or planned around Europe and other countries. In Norway TDMB services have been available since May 2009. Mini TV DMB service launched by the Norwegian Mobile TV Corporation NMTV is backed by the three largest broadcasters in Norway, the public broadcaster NRK, TV2 and Modern Times Group MTG. The live channels can be viewed in and around Greater Oslo. Germany's Mobiles Fernsehen Deutschland MFD launched the commercial TDMB service Watcha in June 2006 in time for the World Cup 2006 marketed together with Samsung's P900 DMB phone the first DMB phone in Europe it was stopped in April 2008 as MFD is now favoring DVB-H the European standard France on December 2007 chose TDMB audio in VHF band 3 and L band as the national standard for terrestrial digital radio. It was replaced later by DAB+. China in 2006 chose DAB as an industrial standard. Since 2007 DAB and TDMB services broadcast in Beijing, Guangdong, Henan, Dalian, Yunnan, Liaoning, Hunan, Zhejiang, Anhui, and Shenzhen. In Mexico most cell phone carriers offer DMB broadcasting as part of their basic plans. As of 2008 the vast majority of Mexico receives DMB signals. Ghana is running a TDMB service in Accra and Kumasi on mobile network since May 2008. Netherlands, MFD, T-Systems and private investors are planning a DMB service under the name Mobile TV Nederland. Callmax will also deploy a DMB service on the L-band frequency in the Netherlands. Indonesia is currently running a trial in Jakarta. Italy and Vatican City, RAI and Vatican Radio are currently running a trial some areas. Canada has been running trials since 2006 in Ottawa, Toronto, Vancouver and Montreal, done by CBC, Radio Canada. Malaysia has been running trials since 2008 in KL, done by TV3, MPB. Initially, the government was committed to deploying DVB-T for government-owned channels, however as of December 2009, RTM1 and 2, as well as all the radio channels, are available over Band 3 for DMB-T as in addition to DVB-T. Additionally, the TV3 DMB signal has moved to L-band. The TV3 DMB signals are still limited to the Damansara and Kuala Lumpur area, while the government-owned DMB-T signals have a wider coverage and apparently covers most of the Klang Valley area. 
The government transmissions are part of a two-year trial that is part of a test that also involves the DAB and DAB plus digital radio standard. Cambodia on August 2010 chose TDMB as the national standard for terrestrial digital broadcasting. TVK is currently running a trial. DMB in automobiles TDMB works flawlessly in vehicles traveling up to 300 km per hour. In tunnels or underground areas, both television and radio broadcast is still available, though DMB may skip occasionally. In South Korea, some long-distance buses adopted TDMB instead of satellite TV such as Sky TV. It works quite well even though the resolution is 240p, lower than satellite. In comparison, satellite is usually 480p or higher. See also One Seg China Multimedia Mobile Broadcasting CMMB Digital Audio Broadcasting DAB Digital Radio Mondial DRM Digital Video Broadcasting DVB ETSI Satellite Digital Radio SDR FM Extra Handheld Projector Internet Radio Device International Journal of Digital Multimedia Broadcasting Multimedia Broadcast Multicast Service Satellite Radio Satellite Television Wibro WiMAX World DMB DVBH <laughs>